Nicola Sturgeon and her little cronies can think they can tell off the Royal Navy for protecting British waters. Who the fuck do you think you are? Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And today guys, we've got a special video for you today and I think this needs to be talked about. Because there's a lot of things the S&P do and it doesn't get reported in the mainstream media. It might get a two second segment and that's as far as it goes. And this is what one of the most annoying things I have seen so far. Nicholas Sturgeon and the S&P think they can tell the British Navy, the Royal Navy, Her Majesty's Royal Navy, to tell them off for protecting Scottish fishermen. You heard me right there. Jimmy Clanky, King John Nicola, has decided to tell the Royal Navy off for protecting Scottish fishermen. And yes, that is right, you heard me say it. She wants to protect French fishermen more than Scottish ones. And by God, it took me a while to calm down over this subject. And you know what? A lot of Scottish fishermen are quite pissed off. And I wonder why. But it's okay. Jimmy Clanky and her new uh, defense secretary, though she in this channel, has a new name. Because we just cannot predict people's names are assholes. But we're going to look at this article here, which will explain to us exactly the situation. The port is called Fisheries Fury as S&P plot the like a no-deal Brexit by banning the Royal Navy from its waters. Wow, I mean, that's just the Lily Wayne Titan itself, isn't it? I, I don't think I have to explain it. Surely my audiences are not stupid. The article goes, Fishing and Brexit activists have reacted with fury after the SNP vowed to keep the Royal Navy out of Scottish territorial waters. Um, can I just like point something out there? They're not Scottish waters. They're British waters, UK waters, international borders with waters around them. I am sorry, I know you like to be patriotic and all, but I'm sorry, you're part of the Union, and there's no such thing as Scottish water. Yes, there's water that surrounds Scotland, or the part of the country that likes to call itself Scotland, but it is UK international water, and we will talk about that very soon in the article, because it gets brought up again for the stupid hypocrisy of not understanding we're in the Union, you s &P idiots. There was an outrage among fisheries and Brexiteers after SNP's Justice Secretary vowed to ban the Royal Navies from Scottish waters. UK waters. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's the great guy himself. And he's even on this channel has his own name. Yasa who's a It's weird how we can't say people's names that we don't like because they're racist bastards. It's weird. Head back at the UK, put the Royal Navy on standby in case of a no deal Brexit. We talked about this before. And it's quite good that the fact that they're putting the Royal Navy to protect our waters, but we knew this was going to be happening anyway because the media just doesn't like to report things and we knew this for a few years now when Britain needs to be defended, we need to get the military and the navy to defend our coast and our borders. And that's where the navy comes in, if you haven't figured out what the navy's job is. Anyway, he told the BBC the UK government gunboat diplomacy is not a welcome in Scottish waters. Um, gunboat diplomacy? Well, that doesn't sound divisive at all. What the hell kind of words is that you're using? Yusuf, weird. What kind of words is that? Divisive as hell. Let's keep reading the article. And remember, UK waters. Scotland doesn't own water. Water is a natural element of earth and no one can actually own up in a bottle. Anyway, Mr. Yusuf added, we will protect our fisheries, but we won't do that by targeting our NATO allies and our friends and neighbours. Wow. You hear that, Scottish fishermen? The NATO people are more important than your people. 
the SNP are coming out here saying the French, the Dutch and the Spanish fisheries are allies, quote unquote, are more important than ourselves. Wow, I wonder why Trump got elected in 2016. Exact same quotas of why people don't want to elect people like you. I damn hope you want to get kicked out. This is the exact kind of language. Like, putting NATO people, NATO people is more important. Make it the North Atlantic Treaty Organization sound so much more important than just saying, we want to be part of the European Union. Just say that. There are concerns about possible clashes in the British waters between the British and foreign fishing vessels with no trade deal is leached. Yeah, well, that's possible because we've already seen our clashes between fisheries, haven't we? And I believe it was the Clam Wars that we had. I think that's what it was. Go and look them up. Look at when the French and British fisheries were literally fighting amongst each other on the boats. This is... That was back last year, I think it was. It's a thing to look up. However, the French appeared to mock the Ministry of Defence by using the British wartime slogan in response, Keep calm and carry on. Ah, so... It's pretty clear the French are pretty keen to keep calm and carry on, but nick all the fish while they're at it, right? Mm-hmm. I can see what you're playing out there. Very clever. Very clever. Not clever at all, but keep going. EU vessels would not have the access to British waters and the UK leaves the, without a trade deal in place. Well, honestly, I think everyone's pretty happy the fact that there's not going to be a trade deal. Because if we ended up in a trade deal, despite we are making trade deals, we're not making the European Union trade deal, which is the one that they keep blagging on about. But we are making deals with people all the time, so I would not argue with that at all. I would not argue, because this is actually quite good. If the British waters, which is what they are, not Scottish ones, the British waters, if we have our waters, we're quite okay. And, you know what? I better show you some. I would like to show you this picture right here. Just to make it obvious about you guys about the actual UK water situation. Because, remember, this uh, this is all the different territorial waters that everyone shares, basically. Just to make it simple. And the dark bit is the ones that we own. And there's got the Faroe Islands out there. Iceland, Norway, Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, Belgium and France and Ireland, they all have their own territorial waters. And as you can tell there, Scotland, you are in British waters. Very UK national waters, apart from the Isle of Wight, I think. And that is the only thing there. And quite frankly enough, when you get your independence, or if when short, shortly, when Orkney and Shetland, or Faroe Islands, get their own independence away from Scotland, they will have to be their own islands too. So when we got like the Isle of Man there doing nothing, water of its own, the Shetland and Orkney will have their own waters as well. And maybe even Scottish, Scottish vessels might not even be allowed to go up there because they don't like the Scottish. But I just want to show you guys that little picture there just to make sure you guys were very aware of whose waters they are. And what they're trying to do in the EU is trying to say the... People from Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, and Belgium will take over that whole darkened out bit for themselves, which is what we've been doing for a while. They have plenty of war of their own, and they can buy from us. That's the best thing about this Brexit thing. They can buy from us. But let's continue with the article. Fishing communities back the Royal Navy's plans, which one fish seller, forgive me if I say your name wrong, Telia Kogleman? Telling Sky News no deal is what everyone wants. Now, they never actually said that in the actual interview they gave her. If you go and look for Sky News and you actually look for the fisheries, like fisheries Sky News, she never says that line. And I wonder why. Because, what, they made it sound really bad. But it's okay, Sky Sly News. You're pretty biased, aren't you? But just to point that out there, they did edit it out so she didn't say that. Because, But no deal is exactly what everyone wants. We can talk about that in another video. We've said it for four years. We don't have to explain it, do we? I don't think so. Let's move on. 
Furious Fishing campaigners and Brexiteers took to social media to backlash the SNP's response saying the SP SNP now think they could order the Royal Navy about and the UK government about the SNP will try anything to undermine the UK government even if it means ruining our fishing industry. Well, they have pretty much ruined everything else and they keep telling you everything is fantastic, nothing is wrong, everything's going great, despite we're all fucked. And we're pretty much in a one nation gulag party country state. So, pretty much, we're screwed anyway. But it's okay, they will do everything under they can, under the falsehood that they will get into their lovely European Union without any problems. One person tweeted, Get a grip, it's British waters and the Royal Navy can do whatever they want. Don't tell our armed forces what to do. Yes sir, that is exactly what you should tell these little swine bags. They do not tell whoever it is. And if you want to tell anyone about the Royal Navy who tell them what they can and cannot do, put it up with the fucking Queen. Because she is, it's Her Majesty's Royal Navy and it's underneath her command. No matter what you say, it's her army, it's her navy and it's her air force. God save the Queen on that one. Another added, Yusuf, you just sit back and allow the Dutch the super trawlers to plunder Scottish waters. The British gunboats, as you shrimmingly put it, routinely stop foreign boats and check them out. And yeah, they pretty much do that all the time and they absolutely destroy the market for UK fisheries. Now the UK fishery industry has been absolutely decimated. We are now at 5% capacity now. That's thanks to them taking our fish. But Yusuf will just won't care about that because they're all white. Light? Just saying, others than marked, should you not be protecting our rights of our Scottish fishermen? No, because they're not French, because they're not European, they're Scottish evil white people. That's why they don't want to protect them, because they're white. Because white people get everything, and, you know, European people just somehow don't these days. Crazy how it works. Another said, why do the SNP side the with the EU against its own people? It's British waters anyway, separatist idiot, and you, and the Royal Navy is doing their job protecting us, zip it. Fuck yes, that is exactly what we're all saying when we heard this story, because it is British waters. Let's put that map up again, that dark part there is British waters, and it belongs to the United Kingdom. Several Tory MPs backed the plans, including Daniel some. Thing, sorry, who tweeted, In the event of a no deal with the EU on Sunday, we must receive an absolute guarantee from Boris Johnston that the British naval forces will be deployed from January 1st to prevent illegal fishing in our waters. And I like to say with that, I wish they did that with the immigrants or the migrants crossing the channel illegally and getting four-star hotels. I wish they had this response back then, but they don't. So we have to deal with the stupidness of the middle politics of this country. But with that said and done, I, that is the article done. And pretty much, Nicola, Yusuf, blah, 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 fuck off. This is our country, this is our waters, and stop trying to divide us. And don't worry guys, we got some more articles that we must lead because we have seen the SNP are vile Nazi communist thugs who will do anything to get their power. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure you like this video because that helps the video promote itself. And make sure you share amongst your friends who think the SNP is absolutely fantastic. And see you guys in the next one. And this is Britain. British waters not Scottish. Stop being separatist cunts. See you later. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very, very end because that means you're a special person and you support the content that I make on this channel because every person who watches this is an honour to be watching this channel. And for anyone who wants to support this channel any further because we know the Czech Giants on Hollywood Boulevard do not want us to see each other's comments and don't want to see the truth out there. So. 
please be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel and follow us on every other of the major single platforms out there. We are everywhere as much as we can to be and we're going to try and make as much content for you as possible. But if you have any ideas for content out there, please be reasonable and use the word hashtag talk about it and the question below so in the comments section if you have an idea because everyone's ideas are free and optional no radical stuff and please be sure to fund us because we are all funding projects will go a long way to making your must trusted reliable source so thank you guys hope to see you in the next one and remember hail the empire